Yo, what is going on guys? It is AJ Bantz here. Welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel if you are new around here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the haptic trigger feature on the DualSense controller on Forza Horizon 5. Forza Horizon 5 is the talk of the town right now, especially in the racing community uh, when it comes to gaming. And I can see why I've been absolutely putting in work on this game, putting in hours. And I thought to myself, it would be really cool if you could use the force feedback with the DualSense controller. Uh, on Forza Horizon 5. Okay, so we just hopped into my computer here and I'll show you guys real quick. All we're going to do is, first of all, we're going to go ahead and turn on the DualSense controller. My one is already connected to the Bluetooth on my PC, so as soon as I press the PS button, my computer will pick it up, it will connect, and then the app will straight away pick it up as well, and it will also connect to that. Uh, if you guys do want to see how to download and set this app up, I have got a completely separate video on that, which I'll leave uh, up here, um, and I'll also leave a link for it down in the description. But it's pretty simple, it's literally as easy as going on the website, downloading it and installing it. That is literally it. I'll leave a download link as well for this, of course, so you guys can download it with ease. But our controller is now connected to it. And so over here in this corner, you can see there is a controller mode where it has the uh, trigger settings. So it's currently set to normal triggers. And remember, I've been through all of these triggers. And just quickly to show you guys this does work, I'll go ahead and click on one of these. So I'll click on the custom one because this way we can actually change the intensity. I'll bring it up a little bit. We're going to go ahead and click apply. So as you guys can see now, I'm pressing the trigger. And I don't know if you can see that on camera, but it's bouncing back. Um, let me bring the intensity down a bit. I think I might have brought it up a little too high. I hope you guys can see that on, on camera. So it's bouncing back. So I've gone through all the settings, as I said, and the best one that you could possibly use for racing games in general is resistance. So we're going to go ahead, click on resistance. Now, when you initially click on resistance, you are going to want to go ahead and change the settings. You're going to want to bring the start down to zero and you want to bring the force up all the way to around seven, even eight if you really want to. Uh, we'll go ahead and put our one on seven so there's not too much force feedback. And then once you've done that, change it to both triggers and then click apply. And so pretty much what this does is, um, as it says, it puts some resistance against both of the triggers and makes it feel kind of similar to how it would feel when you push down on the brake pedal and the accelerator in an actual car. So you can't see the force feedback really on camera, but I'll do it anyways. Uh, so it's harder for me to push this trigger down. But as I said, you can't really tell on camera. Oh, and also don't forget to click apply, otherwise the settings will not stay on there. We can then go ahead and just minimize this and then we'll go on and open up Forza Horizon 5. Okay, we're now in game. Just to show you guys real quick that controller is working. Whatever I do on the controller, it will mimic it on here. We're going to go ahead and just jump into our 370Z. Um, and I'll show you guys. Oh, I'm ready in it actually. And I'll show you guys how this works. I'm going to switch to hand cam so you guys can see it from that perspective. And I'll also leave the gameplay playing uh, as well as we do this. Okay, there we go. We've got the hand cam set up. So you guys should be able to see what I'm doing on there. Um, and yeah, let's go. I mean, sh and straight off the bat. And I don't know how this works exactly. But you can not only are you feeling resistance. But when you're changing gears, the trigger is actually pushing your finger back as well a little bit. Um, which I'm baffled as to how that works. Uh, because it should only be using like the software, it shouldn't actually be registering what's going on in the game, but I mean it works. One thing I do want to do, and this is really a, like again a, a big plus for DualSense X, is that I've put the um, force feedback up too high, so it's super strong. So I'm going to bring it down to about 5, go ahead and click apply again. Um, and then that should have fixed it, yeah, so that feels so much better. Uh, just get that in focus, there we go. Yeah, it feels so much better. And yeah, as I said, like, it's weird. It's like, oops. it's like as you're changing gears in the game, it like pushes your your finger back a little bit. And it doesn't do it like all the time. So I'm not, I'm not sure. It, I'm not sure what what's causing that to happen. But I mean, it feels really good. It's definitely like a better way to get a bit more immersed into the game. I've been wanting to buy a steering wheel for a long time, uh, which I will I will do eventually. Um, but for now, this is a great alternative, just for like that little added bit of immersion. And I absolutely suck right now. But yeah, the triggers are working like a dream. And again, as I said, if it doesn't feel right for you, you can go ahead, uh, go back into the app and change the settings. Um, it should not be an issue. Uh, it's is it just me or do these driver tiles always seem like they want to just crash into you? Anyways, <laughs> I'm going to probably play some more of this before I edit this video. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to show you guys that it does work. Um, 
Of course, it's not the same as if it had like native uh, adaptive triggers built into it, like how the actual PS5 does. It is running off the software, but for some reason, it, it you do get like kickbacks here and there, which feel really cool. It, ma it makes it feel a bit more like the adaptive trigger software is built into the game and it's kind of registering what's going on. Couple that with the controller vibration, you get a ton more immersion. And by the way guys, if you're still watching at this point, this Audi that's in front of me, you modify this Audi, bro, this Audi becomes an absolute monster. I think you can get it to about one, I think it's, is it 1400 horsepower? This thing will pace out um, Bugattis easy. I've beaten multiple Bugattis in, in, in drag races. So you modify that car, it's a little sleeper. But I hope you guys did find this video helpful and let me know in the comments below if you guys are enjoying Forza Horizon 5 as much as I am. I've put an ungodly amount of hours into this game so far and I'm finding it a lot of fun. But also don't forget to drop a like, subscribe and turn on bell notifications, cut up little content just like this. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. I don't wanna look back, I don't wanna like that. I've been going too fast, all the girls like that. And the fake ones wanna see my pulse go flat. And my day